it's just confidence, you know, it's an execution. You know, come out ready to hit and win. The incredible Justin Holt is being compared to the incredible Hulk. Yes, the South Point hopes to extend this playoff streak. The U of A recruit Justin Holt has been having some monster games. More on that in just a bit. Good evening to you. I'm Paul Cicala. But first, playoff positioning was on the line for a number of Tucson area volleyball teams. Let's begin in the Oro Valley with Ironwood Ridge hosting Sabino High School. The Nighthawks are already section champs and they made short work of the Sabercats. Check out senior Macy Kurtz making it happen, Captain. Point, Ironwood Ridge. Still, Sabino will try to hang tough. Elise Weber on the serve, dealing an ace. But no worries for the Nighthawks with the fans also sensing a victory. How about senior Bailey Stevens with an ace of her own? Ironwood Ridge sweeps Sabino, three sets to none. On to Midtown we go, South Point hosted CDO. The Lancers would lead at two sets to none, and Maddie Meyer comes through with the authority. Candy Deloro will try to keep pace with Lauren Brown definitely down, saying, how's that sound? Sounds like CDO never gave up, but in the end, South Point wins in a 3-0 sweep. Meanwhile, Rincon was hosting Saguaro. The Cougars would be up one set to none, but Hannah Parrish delivers an ace. Then more from Recon High School. Parrish is about to set up Kate Webb saying, to down. how do you like her now? So Warrow would take the first two sets, but get this, Recon wins in five sets to punch its ticket to the playoffs. Moving on, Tucson High was hoping to end the postseason dreams of Catalina Foothills, but Samantha Stinnett says, no, no, no. She starts things off with back-to-back -back aces, but Nadia Hark and Tucson rebound nicely. Ping, pang. Pong. Her spikes are definitely the ball. Still, Foothills wins in the end, three sets to one. Keeping it local, it is no secret. Santa Cruz County native and U of A alum Bob Baffert is one of the biggest names in horse racing. And today, his Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh, left the West Coast for Kentucky. Take a look at Baffert, the proud alum of Nogales High School after American Pharaoh arrived at Lexington for this weekend's Breeders' Cup. You can see the race this Saturday with coverage beginning at 1 p.m. right here on NBC. Finally, it is the last week of the regular season in high school football. And for some squads, it is do or die. Make or break for the playoffs. A win in game 10 and you're in. A loss and sayonara. Ciao for now. Goodbye. One squad in that scenario is South Point. A key player who has kept the Lancers late drive alive is U of A recruit Justin Holt. He is also our News 4 Tucson Jack in the Box Player of the Week. So, my friend, what's that mean to you? Uh, it means a lot because uh, coming up, I've seen like, the older kids do it, so I've always wanted to be able to be on that. So it means a lot to me. It's a big accomplishment for me. That was one of my personal goals this year. In South Point's upset over Tucson High, Justin Holt recorded 12 tackles and two quarterback sacks. For us to be successful, Justin has to play well, and he's been playing well, especially of late. You know, he's very dominant, and you know, he just allows the guys behind him to make tackles. So he's a key, key component in, in our success. With an average of nearly 10 tackles a game this season, Holt's play has been absolutely incredible. Dare I say, the incredible Holt? But the Hulk does exist. Well, much like the fictional character, the Incredible Hulk, Holt's idea of smacking helmets is on the field, while smacking offensive linemen, running backs, and QBs all around. It's no secret, it wasn't the best of starts to the season for the South Point Catholic football team. They ended up one and three at one point, but now they are surging at the right time, and if they can walk away with a victory on this very field come Friday, Chances are good they'll be in the playoffs. No, I feel really confident if we win, we're in. Uh, so, and, and a lot of teams are, are going into this weekend with that. You know, if you win, you're in, and, and if not, then uh, you're going to be home. So there's a tremendous amount of parity in uh, Division Two this year. And you know, we just got to treat it as any game. Just, you know, come out ready to hit. Hitting hard, getting the game face and transformation on from the nice, friendly, go-lucky student athlete to the raging South Point defender, feared by opposing teams known as the Incredible Holes. Oh, 
course, the incredible Holt will be taking on uh, Cienega with South Point this Friday. And quickly, we also want to mention that Game 1 of the World Series just ended literally minutes ago. The Royals beat the Mets 5-4. We can't show you any highlights at this point because their broadcast is still going on, to, so it's illegal. But I can't tell you this. We'll have all the highlights and then some on Tucson today. We can tell you that uh, the Royals ended up winning 5-4. The game lasted 14 innings. Alcides uh, Escobar scored the game winner. Uh, literally uh, off of a sacrifice fly. But uh, we'll have all those highlights tomorrow when we legally can show them to you. Boy, oh, hey, that's the biggest Fourteen highlight. They won. Innings. Gosh, long game. Over five hours. Woo. That's right. a night. Dry day tomorrow and maybe some wet weather by Thursday. See you tomorrow.